In the Hardware Configuration Editor, click the Online button to get an online graphical view of the system. The red marks indicate a fault with the CPU and the ET200S station. While online, double-click the CPU to open the Module Information tool. Click on the Diagnostic Buffer tab. There is no relevant information here, so let's go to the Station Diagnostics. Close the CPU Module Information tool. Double-click on the IM151-1 module of the ET200S station. The general tab says that the IM151-1 module is OK, but there is an external error. Let's click on the DP Slave Diagnostics tab. Here you see that slot 1, which contains the power module, is faulty. This could be because power was lost, there's a problem with the terminal module, or a problem with the sub-module that's plugged into the terminal module. We will now go to the rack and do a physical inspection. Close the Module Information tool. It was found that one of the incoming power wires was not solidly connected. The wire was seated properly and the terminal retightened, which fixed the problem. To refresh the online hardware configuration, press the F5 key. The station is now up and running, and that concludes this video.